Right then, we're on to part two now. Uh, obviously, there's a lot I haven't uh, picked up which I know yet. I don't know how to do. I don't know how to do the uh, the cartoon uh, thumbnails that Nicola used to do. I don't know how to do them, so I just put a picture up for the thumbnail. And I don't know how to put it into you know, a 30 minute, because by law we can only film 30 minutes in one sequence. That is by law. If you want to add it up onto 60 and 90, you've got to join it together. So I don't know how to get it into 60 and 90 and add stuff on so it has to be a part one, two, three, four and all that. So, but I'll pick that up as I go along. Uh, I've got somebody coming to see me. Uh, at some stage and they're gonna uh, probably give me an invoice for showing me but it's all good positive stuff in it but at the moment we're gonna have to make do with doing these part one two and threes and all that so all right so now that we've got that explained uh, right I'm just gonna just gonna jot through a few go through a few things here before I uh, before I do a session in there in the gym and then I'm going up to Glynn's. Right, the Crawler Pension Fund. We spoke about this, didn't we? I think, but not at length. Crawler, right, is a nice guy, isn't he? Right? Whether he got a paving slab whacked on his head or not, or whether they did whack him on his head, but it weren't as serious as what they made out. I don't know, I wasn't there. I know that nobody's been arrested for it, same as nobody's been arrested for the Kelbrook stabbing. I don't want to say any more on that. So, I don't know. You've got to say one thing about boxers, they're not grasses, are they? So, technically they're not grasses, are they? So, but, Crawler's pension payout. Crawler was shot to bits, wasn't he? How he got the Lomachenko fight, I don't know. Eddie got him into position, didn't he? For a mandatory slot, but, He'd been beat twice by Linares, won three rounds in, in, in 24 rounds, he won three or four rounds, maximum three or four, max. So how did that warrant two fights? What did he win it first fight? Two rounds? How did it warrant a rematch? He got a rematch, got beat, right? What about the other kid, Lomachenko? Eddie got him into position, should have never been in ring with him. Lomachenko smashed Linares up. So why, why would you put Crawler in with Lomachenko? Isn't that sort of feeding your kids at Wolves for money? Yeah, you're getting paid, but isn't that dangerous? Wouldn't it have been better to wait it out for Lomachenko for Crawler? But then Crawler would be getting old, wouldn't he? I don't know. You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. It shouldn't have been the same thing as him, but that's boxing, isn't it? Every now and then somebody gets killed, don't they? And we all say we're going to do this and have polls and to say we want this changing, that changing. Nothing ever happens. For example, it's coming up to two years, isn't it, for Scott Westgarth's anniversary of his death. Now, Glyn Rose, a close friend of mine, was his trainer. They all knew him up there. They all speak highly of Scott Westgarth. There's a picture on the wall when you go into Scott Westgarth. Them kids in that gym up there, Fuki. Oh, well, obviously Fuki runs Den's gym, but all that gang up there, Glyn's, Glyn's mob, Sheffield Boxing Centre, They'll not forget Scott Westgarth. Scott Westgarth's family and friends won't forget him. But boxing as a community, it's already forgot him, haven't they? So nobody were mentioning Scott Westgarth, did they? The other day. Did anybody chime the bells for Scott Westgarth's death? The other day? No. Did they chime them for Patrick Day's death? I don't know, so don't quote me on that, but you'd easily forgot about when Scott Westgarth died people were saying they were gonna they didn't want to be involved in the sport and it's murky and this and that blah de blah and he even won the fight and whatnot and it were a great fight blah de blah there were also people saying am I still gonna get paid after tonight that's the facts it's a business it's brutal it's a brutal sport it's not to be played at it ain't to be played at <laughs> You know, anybody who's, anybody who's a promoter in boxing gets my respect. Manager, cut man, anything, whatever you do, you get my respect if you play your part. Even if you're just a small YouTuber. Even if you're just a contributor on a podcast. He's giving you time, aren't you? For free. You're giving your time for free. And not many people do that, do they? 
Not many people give the time up for free. I mean, look at Kevin here, he's giving me this office in here. I hardly ever use this office, I hardly ever use it. This is Nicola's old office. Do you know what I mean? She's now working with Den. That's about that. My business partner's with Den. Well, I ain't got a business partner now. Partnerships sink ships. So, that's how it goes. It's every man for the sin, isn't it? Life in general. In my opinion, I think it's every man for themselves. And maybe I should start thinking like that. And maybe think, being a bit more ruthless in how I feel about things and what I do moving forward. Instead of trying to be everybody's pal. I should try to say, fuck you all. I just do what I want to do. And that's why what goes out on my channel now is up to me. There's no editing. Me. And if people don't like it, well... If you're not putting no in pot, you ain't going to get on channel. So, people want some PR, they get in touch with me, don't they? Not many do, though, do they? Because they know that I'm pretty ruthless. Some do, and it's nice to know. But, not many will, because I'm controversial, aren't I? All right? They'll go, ooh. But the same people who are saying it's con he likes a bit of controversial, they're the same people that want me to cover their shows. You know what I mean? So, you can't have it both ways. Soon, there's going to be some give and take with my channel, and I'm going to have to say, well, I'm going to have to start putting some at my way. We all know it goes on. We all know it goes on. Alright? Now, I'm not going to be everybody's patsy working for an oak, so take that as gospel. Alright? There's certain people that are not going to be getting a bill. There's other people who, when they ask, I'm going to say, whoa, hang on a minute. This is how it's going to be from now on. All right? What are you going to do for me? What have you done for me lately? Otherwise, I might as well just go back to knocking cars out, and I? You know, I can go out, I've got a good name. People can come up to me and give me loads of cars on the strap, and I'll shift them. I might as well do that, and I? Instead of fucking about with sport like this. Where we've got KSI Logan Paul headlining on a fucking pay per view. Hey? Eh? Then we've got kids like Tommy Frank and Sonny Edwards, who we're probably going to fight next summer. Probably in a world title fight. And yet, they're not going to be on pay per view, are they? They put the time in, aren't they? And I blocked Sonny Edwards on Twitter, but nobody can say that he can't fight the kid, can he? And he's been doing it all his life. Where's his fucking pay per view? Hey? Eh? Where's Sonny's pay per view? Where's his brother Charlie Edwards pay-per-view, eh? What's happening with him? Eddie don't mention him now, does he? Now he's had some fist. Do you know what I mean? It's an horrible sport. Horrible, horrible, horrible sport. And I sometimes question what I'm doing messing about with this. Sometimes question it. But, every now and then you get a fight, don't you? Like, he know you. The guy who ice juggy is Jamie McDonald. Or... What's the other one? Ward Gatti. Or we get a Frotch Kessler, don't we? Every now and then we get a Ward Gatti Frotch Kessler. You know you, uh, Denaire. We get a fight like that, don't we? And we think, this is why we love this sport so much. But I sometimes question what I'm fucking doing. Dealing with shitheads. Shitheads. So anybody who comes up to me at Dennis's show, I said, how are you doing? You're not talking. Well, if I've seen you and I don't come over to you, it's because I don't fucking like you. All right, if you've got a problem, come see me. All right, just want to get that in. I feel a lot better now I've had that bit of fucking... I feel like now I've blown a bit of steam off. Right. I'm hanging on for dear life with these night shocks. Does anybody know if you can still buy night shocks? Because I bought three pair in 2000 and... After the boot, a fight, grey and two white ones, and uh, they're all knackered. And I've got loads of them Air Force ones, but I think they're shit now. I'm sick of seeing them. Oh. A pair of I don't know if you can still get these now, but if you, anybody knows if you can still get Nike S H O Z O X, let me know. Right, the Crawler Pension Fund. We spoke about that, haven't we? I don't want to see pen I don't want to see I don't want to see shows where they're selling it on it's his final fight I don't want to see that I thought him and Ricky Burns were having the final fight Eddie Hearn said 
Ricky Burns against Crawler is a crossroads fight. Whoever loses is done in boxing. Fucking hell, how many fights have they both had since then? How many more crossroads fights do they need? Fucking hell! When Chisora lost the European title, that were a crossroads fight. I mean, how many more crossroad fights do we fucking need to see? Oh, he's at a crossroads. If he loses, that's it. What the fuck? The only one he's stuck to is Gavin McDonald, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I mean, why ain't he having Gavin McDonald on Sky anymore? Why not? Why not? He's fought for a world title. Twice. Why aren't you having him on Sky? Why aren't you having Josh Whale on Sky? You've got to be in the click, haven't you? It's fucking wrong. Why ain't, why ain't Anthony Tomlinson getting the Conor Ben fight? Why not? Why not? 11 and 0. Seven of them had an early bath. Sells tickets. Decent looking kid, got a good story. Why ain't Anthony Tomlinson getting the Conor Ben fight? Why ain't Anthony Tomlinson getting the Josh Kelly fight? Hey, probably because he beats him. Conor Ben and him is a 50 50, but Josh Kelly, I think he beats him, I think he jumps on him. Don't let him settle, but why not? Why? Why not? He's, he's hanging around with Dave Allen now, he's getting on IFL. What? Or is that. Or is this PR thing that everybody's trying to jump on? We've got to get on IFL, we've got to get on social media. Is that now. Detrimental to fighters now. Are they doing that first before doing it in the ring? Is that now going to be known as the Dave Allen syndrome? Whereas he hasn't won a belt, but yet he's, he's popular on social media. Has that run its course now? Was that an experiment? Was that the Dave Allen experiment? Papi Della experiment? I don't know. What do you think, Chippy Tits? What do you think? Let me know, chippy tits. Hashtag doing bits. But, I don't know. But, it's got to be shared out. The love has got to be shared out. There's kids that are not getting the chance. Now, if Eddie Hearn's going to be the top dog, he's got to spread that love. But what they're doing, they're grabbing as much money as they can, while they can, and they're spreading the sense thin. When it all goes tits up, they'll be gone and over the hill, and they won't give a flying fuck about anybody else. So, but like I said, if you say anything, you're a hater, you're bitter, you're jealous, you live with your mum, uh, you've, got, you've got no money, you're on benefits, your car's on finance, it's a cat D, uh, what else? Uh, and, 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 you, and you're gay and you sleep with a dog. My dog does sleep at bottom of bed sometimes. I'm not gay, don't live with my mum. My car's not on finance. It had a few issues with it when I got it. Yeah, but nothing wrong with stuff that I wanted to change to it. Uh, the actual car is mint. No, well, is what it is, isn't it? But, but other than that, if you say anything, you're a hater. So where do we go from here? Porky, you're a hater! You're a hater! Do you know what I should end up doing? Do you know what I should end up doing if I'm not happy with how things are going? I should go to Adam Booth! Go to Adam Booth! Adam Booth! Go to Adam Booth! He's the best trainer! The Dark Lord! Go to Adam Booth! Well, Billy Joe went to Adam Booth. He didn't last. Dave Allen's been to Adam Booth. He didn't last. But he does talk a good game, Adam Booth. And I think he doesn't know what he's on with. But... And this is the but, the proof is in the pudding, isn't it? He had Davy Day, didn't he? Right, all them years, right? Who was Davy Day's best win with Adam Boo? Go to Adam Boo, he's the best trainer. Right, well, Davy Day's best win with Adam Boo is John Mac Mormack and Enzo Macaronelli. After that, who did he win? Are there any good? He had six wins over world champions, which is good, isn't it? Considering Sugar Ray Leonard only had seven, and Marvin Hagler had seven, and they are all-time greats. We know Carl Froch had more than them, though, don't we? And Amir Khan. Lennox Lewis had double the wins Sugar Ray Leonard had. So Lennox Lewis is what? 
he's got to be an all-time great, hasn't he? But what people forget is Sven Otka. Sven Otka, the Phantom. He had nine. Nine wins. And they were all on point, I think. In Germany. In Germany. So... Donair Inouye, you'd have to say that's the fight of the year so far. Uh, the show of the year so far, in my opinion, in November, going through the full year, is the one with Dean White, is it? You call this then Dean White? Did his fighter win a title on a Francis Warren show at your call? That is the show of the year so far as regards value for money. Your call, that were a bonanza that, wasn't it? Now, Francis will be able to move forward positive from that. He's only a young lad, isn't he? But that show that he put on, and let me let me tell you this, he was running around like a blue-ass fly, fly that night, I heard. Chip off the old block. Now, Francis did well with that show, didn't he? Good matchmaking. And everybody from what I heard said it was a great show. I didn't go personally. Uh, I, I'm at your call three times though in December. Three times I'm there in December. But I bet it was a great show, so well done. That's the best show for value for money of the year so far. The best fight of the year, in my opinion, with a Denair one I know you. Can't spell his name. I'll call him I know you. I know you. I know you. Yeah, I know you. We'll call him I know you. That's the best fight of the year. So far, the year's not over. Best show, Francis Warren, your call. Better than all the better than how Eddie Hearn's done. Loads better. The Crawl and Pension Fund is a load of shite. The Crawler Payout, Pension Payout, PPO we call that. The Crawler PPO. Now they're gonna have a Ricky Burns PPO, aren't they, next year? Oh my god. What next? Spencer Freeman never got a PPO, did he? Canelo Kovalev as a headline axe. Well, we've had Canelo Kovalev. I know ya versus Dunair. Two great headline shows recently in the last couple of weeks. And then we had KSI Logan Paul. <laughs> but it was embarrassing to see it to see the Sky Sky Sports commentary. They have these two young kids who should have been at school commentating with uh, Mr. Bean, and it was just embarrassing. Uh, so that's my opinion. But what can what can you say or do? I mean, let's have a do a bit of a lightweight workout before I go up to Glens. What time is it? What time on here. 18 minutes. Let's see if we can get some of this in here. Pork is all office. There we are. What we got here? The white rhino, Robin, reading me outside Fury's gym. What have we got here? She's not a bad looking girl, is she? What have we got here? Do you remember him? Everybody said that I, I sacked him from Dennis Hobson's, uh, doing Dennis Hobson's PR. Ingram. Ingram Jones. Apparently I got rid of him and backstabbed him. Well, if I did, why is he on the wall? Who we got here? Me and Den. Me and Robin Reed in Peter Fury's gym. Tyson Fury in background there, sparring. Tyson there. There you go. He's a big lump in it, Tyson. Uh, that's a good show, that. Leeds. we got here. I've, he's Danny Kennedy's, uh, Danny Kennedy's team. Me and Peter there. Me and Dennis here in Earl of Stafford. Me and Dennis outside his gaff in Jersey. In fact, bottom of his garden, I think. Dennis's dad's funeral. Me, Ryan Rhodes, Clinton. Bunsey. Me there with Chomper chain on. Me and Ryan Rhodes, my second favourite fighter of all time, class act. Me and the Cobra, uh, seven days after Frotch Groves won in an Italian restaurant in Nottingham. 
And we've got this here's was just that porky uh, picture that I put in there. I think that's about it really. I think that's about it really. Rolls Royce outside again. It'll be an hard car to sell that. So I'm gonna do some light weights. Uh, I'm probably gonna probably gonna do another video. I think. So. Other than that, I'm all right. Uh, I don't really know what I've got planned for the future. I don't know. 